channel. No, stupid. Prop making or prop showing how I how I made a uh, it's stupid too. Welcome to our channel. Today I want to talk about making another prop. This one is a 1912, well, 1912 to 1920, anywhere in there would be the same, uh, spark gap transmitter. Uh, since I am a amateur radio operator, I've always loved this, this type of technology. So I built the inside with modern technology and uh, I've been asked, well then why don't you just make a dummy prop that doesn't do anything and just CG the spark and so I would say, what fun is that? Let's just do something that has some high voltage and is dangerous. I built this using some books that I have, uh, paperback books, and this is a great inspiration here, the Wireless Experimenter's Guide. This has everything from the antenna, the receiver, transmitter, so on. And I'll post a picture of the original transmitter that I used as inspiration for this design. I'd like to use this for, uh, for a Titanic type shoot. Of course, this transmitter would have been much smaller than what they had, but if I did connect this to an antenna, it, it would transmit or would transmit many miles. Of course, that's illegal because it would transmit on just about every band there is uh, because there's no tuning circuit in this. So I'll get a little bit into how I made it. I built this, this wooden box out of pine and I built the coil here out of a piece of uh, cardboard tubing. Uh, it was a printer paper uh, tube and wound this wire around it. Uh, this, the smaller gauge wire is this 12 gauge um, wire just wound around and then hot glued in. The larger diameter of the primary coil is uh, 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 Cat5, just uh, Ethernet cable, just so I can have something because I had a, the primary and then secondary coil. These wooden spindles, uh, not sure what they originally were made for, but I bought those at Home Depot and painted them. Uh, they looked like what was on in the picture of the uh, Inspiration transmitter and the different other pieces I just added in to kind of look like what, it, what the original one looked like. I'll turn this over. Let me unplug it so I don't get electrocuted. Uh, I'll turn this over and show you what, how I made the actual electronics for it, which is pretty old school here. Uh, and I'll post the, uh, the schematic as well as where I got this schematic from. But the coil is a high voltage coil from a uh, automobile and a uh, double pull, double throw relay. The relay is mimicking the points on a car. And I'll give you a little demonstration of what it does. Plug the power back in. And I'll send a CQD, which was the emergency distress call of the day. Uh, they kind of alternated between SOS and CQD, SOS being the more modern, uh, and that was just taking over from CQD. So here we go. So I'm a little rusty on code, but what the Titanic would have been sending at the time of the sinking of CQD and then there's some reports where they changed to SOS. I used some twisted cable that I found on Amazon. It's, uh, I've used this in a couple of my projects but it has a cotton coating just like the period uh, period wire would have been. I got it in a coil, it's like 50 feet coil here. Use that in a, f a few different things. It was a fun project to build and uh, makes a lot of noise and looks cool. So, thanks for watching.